Okay, come to number six. First, you can see this is continuous random variable. Take the value in the interval zero or zero to four. Means your continuous happen only zero and four. This interval. And then they are not giving you function. They are giving you that probability that x take a value more than x is px squared plus q. Means that you are giving a probability formula. Probability x take a value more than x is px squared plus q for the interval start from 0 until 4. So this is not the probability function for this graph here. This is already accumulated here. This is right here. Means when we say probability x 0, more than 0, so you will involve 0, 1, 2, 3 until your interval, the whole interval 4. So the first one, determine the value of p and q. So we use the information from this probability. So for the first value, let's say our interval start with 0. So when probability more than 0, when we substitute inside, it will be equal to Q. So probability more than 0, where's the area? Probability more than 0, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, means the overall of the region already, the overall of the interval already. So maximum this probability can accumulate up to 1. So from there, we can get the first unknown, Q equals to 1. So for the another boundary for this interval, let's say X equals to 4, when probability more than 4. So when we substitute inside the formula here, it will be P4 squared plus Q. So it will be 4P plus 1. So what is the probability more than 4 here? Yeah, we have nothing interval function here. Our probability only occur in the interval of 0 to 4. So when you have you want to find the probability for x more than 4, this probability gives you 0. So from here, 4p plus 1 equals to 0. p will equals to p squared. 4 squared will be 16. So negative 1 over 16. Therefore, we come out a conclusion. The information given here will be probability more than x in the formula of negative 1 over 16. x squared plus 1 for the interval happen start from 0 until 4. Then, for the second part, when we come to Probability density function, small f here. So this is not the function, this is not the graph that represents your probability. This is just a probability formula. So to get function, we have to get it from cumulative function first, then we differentiate to get density function. So how to get cumulative function? In the interval, we understood that only this interval having continuous random variable. So when we finding cumulative, we'll have first step, second step, and third step. So for the first step, where the interval less than zero, we find out the cumulative for the x. The cumulative for the x will be the probability for the x less than zero. Why we need to use cumulative because we have to find out the probability from the formula here. The probability formula is greater than. So how to find out the probability less than zero from more than x? If you want less than zero means finding one minus probability more than zero. So we can start take up from cumulative first, finding the cumulative function first. So when Px 
more than zero means substitute the x as zero. Right, then we can move on to second step means second interval. When we come to second interval, it will be our continuous random variable interval, which is zero until four. And then when we want to find out the cumulative, the concept will be the probability before plus the probability current interval. So the probability before will be F0, and then the current will be integrate from 0 up to X. Finding the probability integration from 0 up to X, but we don't have the small function. So when we're doing integration from 0 up to X, of a function means we are finding the probability start from random variable 0 up to x. Alright, so for before that, before we refer to the cumulative function before this, when 0, it is 0. Then for current probability, we want to find from 0 up to x by using formula probability greater than, it will be probability x greater than 0 minus probability x more than x. Then only you can get your random variable in between 0 and x. So it's a bit like chapter 10, the concept using table, using greater, greater equals. So probability more than 0, probability more than 0 means that here will be substitute 0, which is 1. Then probability more than x, so it will be remain as the 1 over 16x squared plus 1. Simplify this, 1 over 16x squared, 1 minus 1 is 0. Then we continue for the the interval where x more than 4. When x more than 4, the cumulative will be the before last current. So before that, we already accumulate up to 4. Currently, we will be in the rate. If the interval here, currently, you will be in the rate more than 4, right? So 4 up to maximum infinity for the function. So we mean that this is finding the probability for x more than 4. So before that, Substitute the random variable for in the before cumulative function. Plus, currently, if probability more than 4, which means that this is negative 16, then this is 4 squared plus 1. Alright, so we can get 1. So that's why we're finding cumulative, because cumulative is finding the probability less than something, less than a value. Finding the cumulative from the formula greater than. Alright, finding the probability less than from the formula greater than. So after you're getting this cumulative function, which is 0, x less than 0, and then 1 over 16 x squared, in between 0 and 4, then this is more than 4. Then we back to our business here, which is finding density function, small f. So to find density function, we need to differentiate cumulative function. So for the first interval, differentiate 0 is 0. For the second interval, small f can be obtained differentiate with respect to x for 1 over 16x squared. So power multiply into front, power minus 1. And then for the third interval for x more than 4, so the function will be differentiate with respect to x for value 1, this is 0. Then finally we get the function, write it in piecewise, 
we get one answer and then the rest of it is zero for otherwise. Then after that, question C, lastly, they ask us to find expected value of the x means ex. So for finding ex, we are using x time with the function, density function. So we are in the grade from 0 to 4, x time with 1 over 8x. So simplify this. So we are in the grade 1 over 8x squared dx. So power plus 1 over new power, upper limit 4, lower limit 0, substitute upper limit, minus lower limit, then simplify it. Alright, 3 over 3. 